All right, so let's jump into the next step, which is absolutely very, very short, right? <clears throat> so now, go to your favorite browser. On my end here, I use Google Chrome. I don't know your favorite browser. You can go to your favorite browser or any search engine on your machine. Just go in there and type YTDLP, right? Now, after typing YTDLP in the search engine or, you know, after looking it up on Google, right, you should see something like this. You know, the first search which comes here, it will make a reference to Google, right? So we are just going to click on this. Good. After clicking on this, it takes us to a GitHub repo on GitHub, right? So we are going to scroll past all these scroll past all these if you're watching right now scroll past all these and now come to release files now if you come to release file in the under the recommended section yeah you're going to see ytdlp ytdlp.exe ytdlp underscore mac os on my end here i'm using windows for this video right now so i'm going to go with the one with the .exe extension but if you're using Linux or you're using Apple you can go with these that we have here so this is for Linux and this is for Mac OS so I'm going to tap on the one with the exe extension and note I've already set it up on my machine already but just to show you how it's done I'm going to teach you how to set it down so I'm going to download this package again which is the YTDLP again. So we tap on it. And as you can see right here, it is downloading on my end here. So as you can see, it is downloading here. Since I have one already installed, I'm getting it as a second type or version two of it installed as well, right? Now, let's open it. Good. Now, take note that this is not an application right this is not an application so this is what you are going to do so that it works on your end for you right so now go all the way here to your root folder uh, sorry to your root directory when I talk of your root directory I mean uh, if you come to local desk here your C drive in your C drive come here to downloads come here to downloads let's grab this yt you can copy cut it whatever you want now you can copy let's copy it here now if you come to my c drive which is my root directory you see i have created a folder so what we are going to do is that now if you come to my c drive right i have created a folder and the folder was just named yt-dlp so we can do the same again to show you how it is done so create a new folder name it ytdlp and you can actually name it anything you want right but to make it easier for you to know what this is and the the purpose of it that's why i went to the naming convention which is ytdlp you can do some on your end or you can name it absolutely whatever you want so ytdlp so let's say i'm going to change it here youtube downloader here right now uh let me spell this properly youtube downloader right so now we open it and upon opening it you just paste what you copied good it is pasted here good it is pasted here and that is pretty much all you have to do and the other way yeah let's 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 leave it at this i'm not going to teach you that that way let's leave it at this so that is pretty much all you have to do now take note that we copied the package we just installed and we pasted it in a folder that we named in our c drive that is in our root directory on our machine you get me this is pretty much all we are going to do in this video Check out the next video for the next step.